In terms of praying for people, um, I don't want to become a mediator uh, for someone that my prayers are any better than anyone else's. And what I'm looking to do is to teach and equip and help people to be able to outwork the intentions and inheritance they have in God themselves. Um, so me doing it for you is not going to help you do it because you'll then depend on me doing it. So the whole Engaging God program and all that I do is to teach people how to legislate for their own lives and to bring that legislation and choosing the realities that are aligned to God's heart so that you can live in the goodness of that and live in the truth of that. Um, so in a sense, you know, me praying for you is not the answer. Me helping you find the answers for yourself to choose your realities aligned to God's heart and will is the answer. So in a sense, um, I do that through the Engaging God program. I'm obviously doing that through lots of other things in terms of the stuff we post on Facebook and all that sort of stuff and post on YouTube. What I'm trying to do is to basically say, you are a son of God. You are sons of God. You have the authority to be able to choose the reality aligned to God's heart for you to bring about change, um, to see God's goodness, to see God's mercy, God's blessing, uh, God's favor and kindness in your own life. Um, and you are as powerful as I am. You are as equally a son as I am. And you can choose um, in that relationship with God, knowing that God's heart is for you to be blessed. Knowing God's heart is to bring good out of every difficult situation that you go through. But although he doesn't try and bring those situations, but he does use them. Um, and cooperating with him in the process of coming into a, a deeper awareness and understanding of who he is as our dad, our father in love. And to know who we are as sons of God in our identity. And living out of the true identity of sonship, living and functioning from heaven, being seated in heavenly places. To outwork that now of course god does help us and there are angels assigned to our lives to protect us and to guard us and we can work with them and in communicate with them and help them and ask them to uh, protect us to guard us to be around our lives um, and the angelic realm is there as ministering spirits to those who are inheritors of salvation so they are there for all god's children um, and most people obviously don't engage them. And again, I would encourage you to communicate with the angels that are around you um, and, you know, help them to help you by assigning them and helping them to assign you to situations and circumstances. God sent them as messengers. God used them to protect. You know, there was the angel with a fiery sword. Uh, there's all sorts of angelic um, ways in which those angels can help us in our day-to-day -day life once we begin to cooperate and to work with them in terms of fragrances each of us has a fragrance each of us has a frequency there are fragrances associated with natural the natural world in terms of fragrance oils and essential oils which can be very helpful in certain aspects uh, of helping us it being wholeness uh, connecting to creation in that way and those oils can be very effective in certain ways in our lives and there are a lot of people who are using those things in that way. But in terms of you being a fragrance, you carry a frequency of sonship and therefore you being a fragrance is that the world will begin to taste and see that God is good through your life. Um, um, frequencies uh, are fragrances are, are something we smell, but they're just chemical messages, which are frequencies, um, which we then um in those frequencies we can focus those frequencies and use those frequencies in many different ways but you are a fragrance yeah and god wants the world to be able to smell the fragrance of his love through you through each of you and so that people will begin to know that god is good god is love now that doesn't mean that things aren't difficult it's how we handle the difficulties how we maintain an attitude of thanksgiving and gratitude and love. The best fragrance you can give off is thanksgiving and gratitude and love in that when something is difficult, when we maintain an attitude of rejoicing and celebration of the goodness of God, in spite of the difficulties, that is a powerful testimony and a powerful fragrance 
that the world can uh, experience and know. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.